Thanks, Paul the Mandrews. All right, public school students across the islands head back to school on August 5th. And when some Kiki return to class, they might be a little out of practice with going to bed on time or getting up early for school since they've been enjoying the summer. <laughs> now, joining me with tips to get your Kiki ready to head back to school is Jody Beatty, a kindergarten teacher at Mokapu Elementary in Kailua. And she's also the president of the Windward Oahu <laughs> chapter of the Hawaii State Teachers Association, of course, the Teachers Union. Aloha, Jody. Aloha. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Were, so were you on summer vacation too or you, you still work every single day? I did have summer vacation nice. but I transferred school so I had some work during the summer. So. Alright, <laughs> you must be ready to get back to school. So families have just six days before the Kiki head back to classrooms. What should they start doing to get their elementary age kids prepared for school? First off is for the parents to start getting back into a routine. Mm -hmm. um, you know, making sure that the kids go to bed on time, being able to wake up and, you know, just setting that routine again so that they're not going to bed past midnight anymore. Mm -hmm. yeah. so. <laughs> I think then, we have a, a full screen that has some of our, uh, our tips that we can help, uh, help everybody wa uh, following oh, along as well. Yes. There we go, if we can bring that up. So um, again, having them set a routine. Then the next one is practicing independence. This is mainly more for like the younger kids, mm -hmm. but being able to get dressed by themselves, being able to put on their own shoes or tie it. Um, if they're not able to, if they're a, um, you know, assistance. Velcro oh. or, you know, slip-ons, you know, this will help out a lot more. Um, then also helping them tidy up around the house putting away their own toys and everything, that'll definitely get them ready to start off the, the school year with the teachers being in great assistance with that. Absolutely, I mean, and I, it also helps with, yeah, like you said, in the classrooms as well. So the teachers, they kind of, for the students, they already have that routine. They know how to help uh, mom and dad clean up and then uh, teacher uh, clean up in the classroom as well. Absolutely. So uh, that's for our elementary mm -hmm. uh, age uh, kids. What about for the older students like middle or high school? Okay, for older ones, we all have to remember with any change, just like with us, comes anxiety. Mm -hmm. So being able to have that conversation with your child and expressing what maybe you experienced as going through that time too, so that they don't feel so awkward, yeah. you know. Especially it's, transitioning from uh, you know elementary school into intermediate and then in, in, into high school where you got the different you know you got to go to move to different classrooms. Exactly, and another thing too is a lot of the kids, um, you know, intermediate middle school. There's a bunch of them, and then they all break off into high schools, and they may be losing friends. Yeah. And so having the parents be able to discuss that and getting them involved in activities or after school activities and sports will really help build lifelong friendships. Building li lifelong friendships and also kind of breaking up that anxiety. Yes. Once you get into maybe a club sport or, or school uh, sports, then you create these uh, new bonds, you Absolutely. develop these new relationships. What about the parents and guardians? What can they do throughout the uh, entire school year? Well, definitely the first thing that everything is, everybody's happening right now is back to school night. Mm. So that's when they get to meet their teachers, be able to find out policies and procedures that are going on. Yeah, and just building, you know, so that they're not getting that phone call saying, hey, uh, you know, <laughs> your child's in trouble and they would understand why. Um, another thing is for, as the kids get involved, is for the teacher or for them to get involved also with the school. Research has shown that if parents are involved in the children's education, then, you know, that they succeed a lot more. Yeah. And, you know, last and most, most important, attendance please 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 get them used to of waking up and being on school on time because unfortunately if kids aren't in school they can't learn yeah were you talking to my mom before this <laughs> <laughs> no, back in the day like you know david D, number one I know. <laughs> hey, these exactly. are all great tips uh, yes. jody thank you so much again jody Beatty, kindergarten teacher at mokapu elementary and uh, president of the windward oahu chapter of the hawaii state teachers association thank you so much jody thank you good luck this year thank you so much all so excited right. okay